the Apostle Paul as he writes to the saints in chapter 8 of Romans. He says that there are times when we groan and the Holy Spirit of God takes that longing of our hearts. We pray. We don't even know what to pray for. And we just say, Lord, do something. I don't, I don't even know what to ask for. Just please help. And, and the Lord takes that. And the Spirit of God translates it into a God-sized prayer that exactly matches His will. It gets to heaven in the revised version, you know. And God answers that prayer in such a marvelous way when we get home to heaven and He says, Would you like to see what I did with that prayer? I don't think one prayer falls to the ground. Now, it may well be that we prayed for some child and the child has rejected the prayer. And God says, well, no use wasting the prayers. I'll apply it to the next generation. We've seen that happen many a time, haven't we? I was speaking at the meeting. There was a young lady sitting right up at the front, dressed all in white. And she was so excited about the ministry. And right after the meeting, she came up to me. And uh, she had a little padded envelope under her arm. I said, tell me, what's your story? You could see she'd had a pretty hard life. She said, well, I grew up in this neighborhood here. And she said, my parents both died in drunken stupors. And my husband and I were on the same road. Our favorite activity was pub crawls. And she said, there was a fellow in the meeting here who used to witness to me at work, and I had no interest whatsoever until I came home one day and found my husband hanging in the living room. First call I made was to the police, and the second call I made was to this brother. I said, I'm ready to talk. And he came, and he led me to Christ. She said, there's an old lady in the assembly here, and she took me under her wing. She said, I didn't know how to be a Christian lady, and she taught me how. And I used to go and have tea at her house, and she talked to me about the Lord. And one day she said to me, you grew up in this neighborhood, didn't you? Yeah. Well, what was your maiden name? And she said when I told her, she gasped. And she pointed to the sofa, and she said, you see that sofa? That sofa is soaked with the tears of your grandmother's prayers. Praying for your mother. Ran off and married an unsaved man and went headlong into a lost eternity. God said, no use wasting all those prayers. I'll just apply them to the grandchild. And one day they all landed on her head and there she was. She, she had this little padded envelope. She pulled out of it a Bible. It was her grandmother's Bible full of the most beautiful copperplate handwriting. Not a thing is wasted, brothers and sisters. It's not always answered the way we ask Him or in the time we ask. But that day, in this little walk through heaven, we'll realize that every prayer the saint has prayed, every sigh, every longing, every tear, every hope and aspiration has reached the heart of God and He's taken it very seriously. And God will be vindicated and we will realize then we can trust Him. He knows what he's doing. He's right on schedule.